Hi everybody, John Gill here from Special Tennis TV, YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna go through the serve and explain a few different aspects of the serving. I'll stand over here as in doubles at the moment, so you can see clear as well. First of all, it's important to warm up. So warm up, and you can sometimes you can even use two rackets to warm up with. Warm your shoulder, your arm, your wrist. Make sure things really warmed up. And any and before you play any sport, I did that for my martial arts as well, tennis and pickleball. Always stretching, warming up, you know, loosening up a little bit. In the first few serves, I often practice against the fence like this, just to get it nice and easy. I'm not too concerned then about whether going in or not, particularly when you're warming up. There. Warming up. Now they really shouldn't call it a toss in tennis, they should call it a release. So just release the ball. Now it's slightly to the right, slightly out in front, and high enough so when it just comes off its peak, boom. Alright? And from there, you can use all sorts of grips. You've got your continental grips, the main one for serving, particularly first serves, continental. There's recent forehand here in the middle. Continental, here, might see it close up, but I think most of you watching this probably know the grips, hopefully. <laughs> we'll get a good coach to show you. Continental grip, semi-westerns, etc. Now for serving, for the first serve, I use continental grip. And for my kick serve or topspin serve and slice serve, I use a eastern backhand grip, knuckle on top, so you get more spin on the shot, okay? At the moment, I'll just do. I'll just do a few serves. I'll do it from way over here, double score, just so you can see me clearer. All right. So from here, it's nice and relaxed. And in. All right. So just here. I just and now, being a bit older player, I actually um, I can actually generate a lot of power, but I do it from the shoulders, my hips, my arm action. Little bit of knee bend, but I don't really knee bend a lot because I had some issues with my knees <laughs> over the years, double ricos and reconstructions and everything. So the modern way they often you know bend, and as you bend the knee, it should be bent as your elbow bends. By the way, not don't bend here. If you're going to bend it, you bend when the elbow bends, and then up, and that often they jump and they land on their left foot and propel forward. They can either serve volley from there or stay at the baseline, depending on what you do. From here, I'm a slider. I tend to slide in, body weight behind, and I do the rocking action, forward and back. So far, so good. It's been very effective. And I'm a serve volleyer, so I do like to get in, particularly in doubles. So here, and through. Again, here, and through, into the court. So all my body weight, I'm leaning forward, rocking back, and I'm leaning in, sliding in to the court. It's also important to keep your head up, like it is when you hit ground strokes, keeping your head down, or for volleys, keeping your head here. It's very important to keep your head up on the serve, and really reaching and watching the ball. Here we go. All right, so here. Rocking action and through. Following through. Now I've got a fairly high, reasonable elbow bend here. The pro other pro people have problems with serve often have their elbow too low. You're not, you can't have it too high either, right? <laughs> Smell your armpit. <laughs> just here, pointing to the back fence. So it just falls into it. If you are going to bend your knees, don't bend your knees until the elbow bends and then propel up. Don't do, you get that, what they call a trophy position. You know, trophies, you win in your competitions and leagues. Trophy position, but there is where you bend your knee and up. Now, as I said, personally, I don't bend my knees as much as I used to in the old days because I have had problems with them and I'm a bit older, so I lean into it more. I bend them a little bit, but well, I think I do. <laughs> That's all. It's a video on the back later. That's all. I, I just natural for me. I don't need to. I, I generate a lot of power anyway, so I get it from here and through. All right, here, and I lean. I've had that toss. I just catch again. Let's do it. There and not into the court. So I like to lean into the court. So I'm a serve volley, particularly in doubles, obviously. Even singles, I was always serve volley as well. Nice fluid action, smooth, smooth. 
Alright, from here. Leaning in, and I can sprint. If you're going to serve volley, you sprint really quickly first. And then split step. Then put your sprint in, and then split step, and then get ready for your volley. Alright, and that's the case. So always split step before you hit shots. Get the kinetic energy going through the legs and the body on the balls of feet so you're ready to move, all right, all the shots. Also serving, work on hitting all three serves from the same toss, okay? So same toss out in front. Now I'm gonna hit a slice serve from that toss. Where I hit it three o'clock. If you think about a clock, it's three o'clock. All right, three o'clock on the clock face for slice. And I've got an eastern backhand grip, knuckle on top. And now I'll do the same toss, and I'll slice it. That, and hardcore, it still spins a lot, but it's very effective on real grass and artificial grass. When we won our, it's in January, back oh, a year ago now, <laughs> 2020, before I came to live to America, before I just moved to America, we won our senior team event for our state. And it was on real grass, and I was just doing a lot of good slices out wide, or into the body. Coming in, this, coming into them like this or out wide is very effective. More effective than just trying to kick serve on grass. But like having said that, on the hard court, kick serves work really well. What we call top spin serves, kick serves. So slice again, out and across. Even then, I got it. It was coming across really nicely out wide. Lead in, up. Now I'll do a kick serve in the same toss. Now, top spin or kick serve, you've got to get underneath it more. All right, so rather than throw it back and kick it, which a lot, you, a lot of people are taught to do that, the problem there is I can't serve volley off it. Now I'm a serve volleyer. If you're not and you prefer, you're happy with that, that's fine. Bring it back and get more kick, that's fine. You don't want to stay back anyway, no problem. If you want to serve volley, particularly in doubles, which you really should, all right, from here, same toss, and I get under it. I get under it this time. So I get under the ball. Under. That's it, they're all going in, it's all good. So again, I under the ball and using my backhand grip again, of course. Under it and, and propel forward into the court because I want to serve volley. So therefore, to summarize, Eason, you've got your uh, continental grip. We use here to flat first serve, more power. You've got your Eason backhand grip for slice and kick. Now kick or top spin serve. Actually, there's a couple of ways of doing it. Top spin, you can kind of come to here. There's another serve you can do. I think they even call it the American twist, you Americans. <laughs> There's some here. And I finish, finish this side. A bit fancy, you've got to get the good timing, but it, it could work. I've got a good spin then. So I've got the American twist and finish this side. This side. Here we go. Up, up. Oh. Start again, always catch it, I'm not sure. Up, and I go that side. I'll get some good spin on that too. Or of course, top spin this side. Don't keep yourself in the shins. <laughs> it's either all or nothing, you know what I mean? All one side, but don't go whack. <laughs> don't, don't try it unless you're, I wouldn't try that one unless you're a really competent serve. You just want a little bit of variation. Otherwise, it'd be kick. Again, it'd be kick. And then I'd still finish. See, I finish then on the left side. Okay, slice. Now I'll do slice. Now kick. Top spin serve. I'm really hitting. We're really like, it's amazing. Seven to one, 7 p.m. to 1 p.m. on the clock. Okay, so I'm getting that really getting under it. Under it. All right, kick there. And again, slice three o'clock. And flat is just flat, just straight behind six and 12. Straight behind six and 12, up, back, and lean in. And I'm sliding, I'm more sliding into it. See, I'm bringing my foot up and sliding in, I'm sliding in. Other people I've said will bend, once they bend their elbow, bend and jump in on their left foot and continue, that's fine. And you can either go all the way to the net, or you can stay back, but make a decision early, don't, <laughs> unless you see a real pop-up return. You pick off, pick they're running in the volume. All right, Better good service. So from here again, I'll do all three in a row, see if we can, from the same toss. Flat now, with a continental grip, that's all. My opponent doesn't know, what serve I'm going to do. That's the beauty of it. If I start throwing back here or throwing it really to the right, they're going to know it's going to be a slice. They're going to know it's going to be a kick serve, a toss bit. If I throw it back. If I do the same toss, they're not going to know. All right? And the grip's different. They? they can't see my grip. So they're not even going to know I'm doing a kick with a continental grip. There's no way they can see my grip. I'm 
hold, should I keep, keep the racket straight? Don't do this or something different, just straight. So continental, here we go. Now do a slice. Oops, that was happy to toss again, so always take your time. Right, there you go again, so see, I'll get to take the time and slice up and through. Don't feel as though you have to hit it. All right? And uh, sometimes you might rush your toss a little bit, so be careful of that. And remember when you toss, or actually I call it, I like calling it a release, just open the fingers. Just open the fingers, that's all you need to do. If you practice that, just lift up. And before you play, practice your toss. You've got to watch out the wind as well, of course. I'll do it again, flat, with a continental grip. Yeah, yeah. Probably further than I thought. Kicker. Okay, that was, that actually went long, that was one long, so I try that again, kicker. Hop, that's that. That went in, so. And slice. Oh, yeah, so they're all good. Happy with that? But you notice, I, you notice what I did when I wasn't happy with the toss, I caught it again. So you do the same. <laughs> okay, guys, take care. I hope you're enjoying professional tennis TV. I've got some more matches coming up in the UTR series soon as well. I hope you're enjoying the matches I put on there. Take care and happy new year for 2021. Take care. Bye-bye. John Gill signing off. See ya.